and the human rights activist Peter Thatchell joins me now live from London to discuss Manning's sentence. Uh, Peter, welcome to RT. So you just heard that Manning got 35 years, only 35 years, according to our correspondent in jail, given that prosecution demanded 60 years. Has he gotten off light? I think the judge and indeed the Obama administration was very wary of giving him an extremely punitive sentence because of the backlash they feared from public opinion in America and around the world. So I guess that uh, this is sort of what we were expecting. Um, but I've got to say that it is quite extraordinary that Bradley Manning has got 35 years for telling the truth and exposing U.S war crimes, lies and cover-ups, while the people who committed these criminal acts have walked away scot-free. They have never, ever been prosecuted. If you go back to the My Lai Massacre in Vietnam by US troops in the late 1960s, the people who blew the whistle on that war crime were never prosecuted. It was acknowledged they were exposing an injustice. But then contrast what actually happened to the perpetrators of the My Lai massacre. Lieutenant William Kelly, the main soldier in charge of that massacre, received a three-year sentence which he mostly served under house arrest for killing dozens of Vietnamese civilians. Yet here we are all these years later and Bradley Manning gets 35 years for simply telling the truth and exposing criminal acts. But it just seems a very, very unfair justice system. But don't you believe that there was some sort of political motivation behind this sentence? Well, I certainly think there was a political motivation behind the prosecution. Um, you know, it, it is a notable fact that President Obama has harassed and chased and prosecuted more whistleblowers than even right-wing Republicans like Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan. That is a pretty damning indictment of President Obama and his Democratic administration. Um, whistleblowers are not criminals. They are the canaries in the mine who warn us about danger. They warn us about untruths, about hidden realities that people in power don't want us to know. Whistleblowers are essential to democracy. And that is why Bradley Manning Edward Snowden and WikiLeaks are so important. They are shining a light on grave injustices that successive US administrations have sought to keep secret. Thank heavens, down to them, we know the truth. We now know what is being done in the name of the American people, and indeed, the people of the world also know that. That is a good thing, not a bad thing. Bradley Manning is a hero. He will remain a hero all the years he's in prison, he'll remain a hero after he's released, while the Obama administration will forever live with this shame upon its record. Also earlier, we know that Bradley Manning was cleared of aiding the enemy. Uh, what is the reason behind that? Well, first of all, I think that the legal case, the evidence that he aided the enemy, was virtually non-existent, or at best, very, very flimsy. So I think that it was quite right and proper that he was acquitted of that charge. And I think it would have been really quite extraordinary if the judge had pressed that one and given a guilty verdict. I think the uproar uh, among legal experts, never mind the uh, wider public opinion, would have been so great that would have been an own goal by the Obama administration. So I think that um, the powers that be were very relieved that he didn't get um, prosecuted on charges of aiding the enemy because quite clearly he had no intention of aiding any enemy of the United States. He simply wanted to expose injustice. And he said all along that he was motivated by high ideals, by a belief in the rule of law, by a belief in international humanitarian law, which forbids the kinds of war crimes that he sought to expose. Uh, but doesn't uh, the government here have a right to protect its secrets and send a strong message? Well, there are secrets and there are secrets. Yes, there are some things that um, you know, governments can rightly argue should be kept secret. But when you've got a United States military prosecuting a war in Iraq and Afghanistan, 
where there are serious grave allegations of human rights abuses and consistently US personnel are not prosecuted not prosecuted, even though innocent people have been taken to Guantanamo Bay and held there for 11 or more years without trial or charge. Uh, it is extraordinary that when there is evidence, for example, of the Apache attack helicopter killing of 11 civilians in Iraq, the collateral murder video which Bradley Manning exposed, none of those soldiers have ever been prosecuted. None of them have even been investigated. You know, it just seems to the 